All right, so first and foremost, I want to tell you guys, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. We've been grinding and posting almost every day. We're going to try to keep that up. But in today's video, I'm going to be remodeling a high-rise apartment. So i seen a lot of you guys in the comment section. It was like three or four of y'all in the comment section asking me to remodel apartment. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. And I was looking at a few different high-rise apartment designs. And I got a little idea in mind how I want to set this house up. Well, this apartment. So I'm going to just go ahead and move everything out this kitchen. And yeah, put my kitchen design together. So I want this to be more of a modern style apartment. So what I'm going to use is my modern paint swatch, which is this paint swatch right here. And I'm using it all white. And I just noticed how dark in here is. So let me just add two little lights in here to lighten here up. And now I can put my kitchen design together. Okay, so first thing I want to do is change the floors out in here. I feel like I want to use some wood floors in here. I don't really too much like using tile floors in the kitchen. So maybe I use something like this. I like these floors the way it looks in here. So I'm going to use those. And I'm going to just remove all this little ugly stuff out of here. And I hate the fact that in apartments in The Sims, you cannot remove like doors, windows. Because I definitely want to put more windows, wrap it all the way around just to make this look like a modern style high rise apartment but you can't change the doors or the windows so yeah that sucks but back to this kitchen design i wanted to use some cabinets that kind of matches the floors but i don't really have no cabinets that matches that color so I'm trying to put a little color scheme together should i use the gray and white or should i use the black and white okay the gray and white looks good but i'm thinking i'm gonna have to change the floor color to gray because i don't like the way that looks okay should we do it like this this right here is a design i never use so maybe i'll use this this time so i'm gonna use the gray and white cabinets with the gray floors and i'm gonna run cabinets all across this back wall and i'm thinking with the appliances i kind of switch up the way i laid them out so i'm thinking we put a oven here and i want to do a little bill hack so i'm gonna do this little bill hack where i raise this up like this and do basically a double stack oven so i'm gonna take that there i'm gonna just copy that oven and place another one there like that and i'll put a cabinet above it just to make everything flow the right way but i want to change the color of this oven because i feel like this is a real ugly color maybe i do it in black just so it'll look better and for the upper cabinets i want to use these so i'm gonna just place this ah that's not gonna look too good but i'm gonna still use that so i'm gonna place that like that and like right here i'm going to place the sink maybe i do that in black also and we definitely gotta have a dishwasher so i'm gonna place that there okay maybe i move this stuff down one like that and then remove this cabinet and build a space here for like a pantry or something and remove that cabinet and i'm gonna replace the refrigerator right there where i removed that cabinet from i just felt like i had too many cabinets on this bottom row so i just wanted to fill that space with a wall and get the rest of the upper cabinets in place like that and i'm gonna place another one here and should i do another half a tile cabinet here yeah i'm gonna do it like that huh something looks a little off though yeah i'm thinking it might be this cabinet color maybe we do that kind of like the way that looks better i don't know y'all drop down in the comment section and let me know all right but for the most important part i'm gonna be doing a nice big island in here so i'm gonna just grab some more of these black cabinets and place like three in a row like right here definitely gotta grab some island cabinets and place them right behind it okay i don't know what just happened there but let's just fix that and like i'll be seeing in most high-rise apartments i'm gonna place the stove in the middle of the island and put a nice stove vent above it just to make sure it's lined up the right way like that and i'm thinking i should change the color to black since everything else is black and since this is like a modern style design i was thinking about using this backsplash right here but i feel like i overuse this backsplash so i'm gonna use this backsplash right here but in black because i always use it in white i never use it in black so i think this is my opportunity to use it in black and i feel like it looks nice in here and of course this oven went away because i was building and doing different things so i just gotta take this and lift it up again like that place another cabinet and add another stove and that's probably gonna happen again before the end of this video because i'm still gonna be building but i'll just fix it all right so i like the way this kitchen look now let's move on to remodeling this staircase okay i'm not gonna move this staircase anything like that because this is an apartment so i'm pretty sure you probably can't move it but i definitely want to put some different colors on it so i'm gonna use that maybe or should i use something with a darker step okay what about something like that just to flow with the black and white then maybe a railing like 
that or something like this since this is a modern high-rise apartment yeah i think i'm gonna use that and for this living room we can't really do much in here but like remove this little stuff and just add some more light in here um i would draw a fireplace in here but i feel like there's no space actually to put a fireplace because the windows are on these walls this wall is basically covered this is part of the kitchen and this is the exit so it's not really too much more i can do to this living room all right so for it in this upstairs i'm gonna start off with these bedrooms i'm gonna just go ahead and remove all this furniture out and i'm gonna just do that room by room and this room right here is so big i feel like i can turn this into two bedrooms and this bathroom has an ugly design in it. oh i didn't even notice this bathroom right here was over here but we're gonna definitely remodel this one too all right so we got all the furniture out still got little pictures and stuff but that stuff is easy to remove um so i'm gonna start off in this big bedroom right here and <laughs> i just noticed why is my sim in like a push-up position but that's definitely not a push-up position i don't know what's going on here so in this bedroom i'm definitely gonna use my modern paint swatch in here and i'm gonna probably just run this throughout the whole house so what i'm thinking is i take these wood floors and i place them all throughout this upstairs and in the bathrooms i'll probably switch it up and use towel but for now i'm gonna just place these wood floors and like i was saying i'm going to turn this bedroom right here into two separate bedrooms because this is like nonsense for this to be one big bedroom so i feel like this should be two i hate the fact that you can't add no window to it but maybe we just turn this into like a separate office or something since you can't put no windows in here i feel like it's weird to have a bedroom with no window so the first thing i'm gonna do in this bathroom is definitely paint in here and i don't really have too much of a layout design for here i'm just thinking maybe we do three vanities on this back wall need to slide them down or maybe we should just take it all the way down and i do a little design where i raise this cabinet up once on that side and raise this one up like that just a little crazy modern design and i'm gonna do a little bill hack where i take this sink right here raise it up and place it inside of this oh, i need to raise it up one more time okay boom like that and i'm just gonna do the same thing on this side and on this back wall i feel i should run mirrors all the way down to the end all right so i think i should just raise these two cabinets up also just so we'll have like a floating sink i feel like that looks nice i like the way that looks even though you can't really tell the difference but it still looks nice and over here in this space i'm going to place the toilet there and put a few immaculate shelvings above it maybe just to build a nice little wall right there and put me a nice little shower tub combo here and man i wish i can place a window right here but instead i'm gonna just use a nice little picture to kind of fill that space a little bit all right so in this bedroom right here it's not really nothing to do in here but like move this little stuff and add a new door um this is another one of those bedrooms that i feel is way too big just to be a bedroom um but i don't see too much i can do with this because of the wall space so i'm gonna just leave this as it is and yeah move on to this other bathroom okay so with this bathroom right here is kind of a crazy way they got this set because it's so long and skinny so i'm trying to put together a little design in my head of how i want to do this okay so what i'm thinking is in this bathroom i go with a whole different approach so what i'm thinking is i use this sink here and then i'll put one like right here and take a immaculate shelving press all four back buttons and blow it up and try to align it the right way like right there just to use it as like where you can have this as like a makeup counter or something i don't know whatever you want to use this for place that in the middle put a nice little bar stool to it and here in this middle section i'm gonna use these mirrors right here i just need to get them to line the right way so push that there and align this one with the edge of this sink and on the two sides i'm gonna just use normal mirrors so i'm gonna just take these and place them there like that and that same tile i used in the kitchen as a backsplash i'm gonna just use that behind these sinks like that i feel like that looks good and of course beside these sinks i'm gonna just place a toilet same little design i'm I'm put two or three immaculate shelvings above this i'm gonna build a wall here and place this little glass here this is kind of going to be like a bill hack and once you place the glass you can just remove that wall because it's not needed no more and place this little nice round tub here and i'll probably just use that same tile as a backsplash and then just use the white version of that tile in the front and the back okay i like the way this bathroom design turned out this actually turned out nicer than what i thought and right here i'm gonna just place a door okay so now i'm kind of figuring out that this is the master and i made it smaller than what it's actually supposed to be so instead of turning this into two bedrooms i'm gonna just leave it as one because this is the master and this is a whole separate apartment over here so i can't do nothing with that 